What up, what up with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Michael. Uh, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a comparison between the original Session Horns and Session Horns Pro. Uh, so if you're watching this, you probably are considering buying one of the other of these. And you really want to know, uh, will the original Session Horns kind of do what I need for it to do? Or do I need to get Session Horns Pro? Uh, you know, is the extra 200 bucks between the two really worth the difference to get that then i'm going to try to help you answer that question in this video so let's dig in and let's start first with the sound of it how uh is it different how is it different in the sound of it so the first here is going to be session horns and i have this set up and kind of both of them set up in kind of their single articulation kind of modes so you can kind of hear uh, what they sound like. So this is the original session horns here. And this is how I'm just going to play like a regular riff. You know, just some regular riffs. Now let's go over here to Session Horns Pro and do the same thing. You know, now you can definitely hear this difference in the tone uh, between both of them. Uh, Session Horns Pro sounds much more full, uh, much more in your face, much more, you know, kind of uh, like that. You know, it sounds more full. And I don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that you got more of a section here because you got the two trumpets, a baritone sax right here in a trombone and an alto sax whereas over here you looks like you just got kind of like two trumpets a trombone and a session horn and uh not a session horn <laughs> a um a saxophone uh alto so uh it could be that the fact that you they give you more instruments over here as a, po a more fuller of a section than you get over here that could be one thing but there's always things that you can do with the original session horns because i've used it on a ton of recordings uh to where you can make it sound uh, more full than what it actually is, you know, by layering or, you know, just EQing, compression, different things like that, that can make it sound better. So uh, let's really dig into the features because that's really what sets these two instruments apart from each other. Now, um, if I go here to the regular session horns, you have like different articulations and they both pretty much have like the same articulation. You have a uh, sustain which is just the regular play. You got rips. You know, you got your grace notes. You know, and you got shakes and, and so on and so forth and crescendos. I can do crescendo here. You know, and all of those different articulations that you would need are there. Uh, and then you can also have, they have a voicing assistant, which is in both of them here. And you can choose to, you know, make it uh, do what it needs to do in that section. And you can do that in both of them. Uh, and then you got your velocity curves. And down here you got sound tweaks where you can choose your reverb and your uh, stereo width and what how your section is set up uh, and master effects. There's a ton of things that you can do to make sure that these uh, sound different and change the sound and do all of that. Now, Session Horns Pro is a kind of a whole different machine in the sense that you have way more that you can do. For one, I can change up my section that you can't do really here. I mean, you could do it down here. I guess trumpets up to section mix, but this one is a little bit more streamlined than just picking, you know, a different type of section, like a full section, so on and so forth over here, uh, or even, you know, changing things over in that nest. So you can actually choose the order in which you want in each section and you can do single or you can do combinations where you can blend two instruments uh, together, you know what I mean, uh, and put them in a slot. Uh, so I think that's very powerful for sound shaping and section sa shaping, uh, you know, set up in there. You can do that in any one of these four slots. You can load up and set up your section. And you got all of the the uh, different articulations. You also have all of the different 
sections, predefined sections set up right here, which is amazing. And then you have uh, your different articulations. So you can choose these articulations using the key switches, you know, and switch through them, uh, yeah. through that. And you can do that in, I believe, in performance mode inside of uh, Session Horn. So this is not anything that's, you, you know, an exclusive uh, feature. I believe you can do the switch and key switching in the performance mode of Session Horns. Uh, but uh, you got that where you can switch through all of the different, the same articulations you pretty much got. You have a few more that are in pro a few more articulations that's not in the original session horns uh, but either way you can you know set those same kind of articulations now this is where it really starts to get crazy with session horns pro versus the original session horns uh, and when you get into the sound area now if i go over here to the sound area on session horns pro on the single articulation and you get a few more options in the performance mode but not many not as not like this here in this mode in pro you can actually control the volumes on the different instruments in your sections solo them mute them uh, all of those different things like that. But not only that, you have effects that you can add. So I have the regular mode here where I can kind of play it. And then if I add in compression, I get this. A little bit more in your face, you know? And you got your cutoff and resonance that you can choose and stuff. And then you come on, click on compression, and you got all of your compressor settings here. Here's your EQ settings. Then you can add tape. And if you don't know anything about tape, tape saturation adds, makes everything better. You got warmth here. I can add in warmth. I can make it more warm. You know? little bit smooth then they have this thing called twang that you can add in that kind of adds in. so a ton of effects that you can add in low pass kind of gives it you know gives it a low pass filter ton of things but not only that you can actually edit these same effects, some of these same compression and EQ on an instrument to instrument basis. I can click on the alto saxophone and I can compress that as well. And I can compress the trumpet. This is what you're getting for the extra 200 bucks. Whereas you can't really do that over here in session mode, in session horns, the original in any mode, whether it's the performance mode or anything, you cannot really edit or control any of the sounds individually in your section like you can over here in the uh, regular version. Then you have global effects, send effects like your uh, reverb and your delay. And then it gets even more with control. You kind of get the same kind of thing here, but you get, uh, and you, you see these in the um, per, per, um, performance mode here on session horns, but you can do your MIDI CC and your velocity curves. And you can also do your doits and falls and all of those different things, release samples. It's so much tweakability with, uh, that's one of my favorite words, tweakability. I don't even know if that's a word, but I say it all the time. Uh, inside of Session Horns Pro that you just cannot do in Session Horns. Now, I know this seems like it's more about Session Horns Pro than it is about actual Session Horns, but I want you to see the bigger picture between the two is that you don't really get as many options. Um, and I'm what I'm gonna do is while this is doing, I'm gonna switch to performance mode over here so we can kind of compare the two uh, really uh, and deeply. Uh, so, but over here in Session Horns Pro, you have uh, solo instruments that you can do. So I can bring in all of the alto saxophone by itself, the baritone. I can break up all of the individual instruments and use them separately uh, inside of Session Horns Pro as opposed to having to just be locked down to one particular session or section or, 
you know, set, set, set of sections or are inside of session horns regular because you only have control over the complete section in session horns as opposed to in session horns pro you have like control over the individual instruments uh and it's just so much more that you can do with that now over here in session horns if i kind of come over here and i can show you some of the more tweakable options that you get in the regular version uh here more control over some things you have your song modes which you'll have that in session horns pro in the performance area but you got phrases and different things that you can do with that uh then you have one shot rhythms and swing and you can control this is like your whole animator thing that play plays plays those predefined phrases for you but we don't want to focus on that we want to go into the sound area and show you the difference see you can you know do your section mix here you know you can do your master effects. You can kind of go through those, uh, you know, to kind of get a different sound. You can detune. You can do your stereo width, and you can do your reverb. Then under control, you get your Deutz and uh, however you say that, and falls on a note with your pitch wheel, your sustain pedal, control, and MIDI CC, kind of like what you get over here. But it's not as comprehensive as session horns pro so to kind of summarize it and sum it up for you and i hope this kind of helps you because i'm not going to go there's too many there's a ton of tutorials out there that show you all of the features and dig deep into everything uh with session horns pro and session horns that show you all of the amazing things that they do with this i really wanted to kind of focus on which one kind of show you the overall features between the two because there's nothing out there that really shows that like what's the difference between them you know without having to watch 50 different videos to see what what i can do you know with both i figured i'd do one where i show both of them side by side and the true differences so um if you're looking for just something to just kind of play some regular sections and you don't really care about all the the control and the mixing and all of those things like that session horns the regular version will work for you i've used it for years on my recordings i've used session horns and they've come out beautiful and amazing and i've learned different edit tricks and things like that to make it better but now that i have session horns pro uh it's a whole different ball game a whole different world of things that you can do and it opens up so many more pop possibilities so if you need more control fuller section all of those different things like that, more control over the individual instruments and their sound, then Session Horns Pro is where you're gonna want to go. So I hope this guy, I hope this kind of helps you guys. Uh, as always, uh, are the links to check out these instruments, native instruments, is in the description of this video. And you can go check out those uh, those instruments. Um, and also always hit those like and subscribe buttons and doing those things like that uh it takes just a second to hit the like button or the share button i really appreciate all your help till the next stream i'm out holla at your boy